kind of tie together the stories that we've talked about. We actually posted on our Instagram and we asked people to send in hotel stories, which obviously a lot of people work and go to hotels. So we've got quite a few stories stories to tell from some anonymous peeps yeah yeah and we so, can give our reactions to them as well yeah um have you read them i i've read them yeah okay but me and brody haven't heard no so no no so I'm, this is our raw authentic. i'm the only one <laughs> yeah uh this first story is called naked and afraid <gasps> do, <clears throat> do, do. So first off, I don't work for a hotel, but traveled widely across the U.S. for a few years as a consultant and had the pleasure of meeting a ton of great and helpful hotel staff. This is a story about one incident that I am forever grateful to the host hotel night staff. Please feel free to delete if not allowed, but oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <clears throat> about 10 years ago, I was in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> it's already so funny <laughs> florida 10 years ago think of yeah. florida now think of florida 10 years ago holy shit oh my god or type in your name and your birthday and say florida man or florida woman and your birthday yeah. just do it i've done it before i've never done it oh my <laughs> it's god I'm so do ridiculous it. mine was just... something that got swallowed by an alligator mine was one of the kind of stock ones that's there's kind of just yeah. okay 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 yeah. okay yeah. <laughs> About 10 years ago, I was in Florida consulting and staying at some flavor of a hotel that rhymes with carry it. <laughs> As usual, before flying home for the weekend, all the younger consultants would go out drinking the night before checkout. I had a few drinks, plus a few more, then left the bar, grabbed a cab, waved a hello to the hotel front desk people, toddled off up into my room, turned on the Conan O'Brien late night show, got undressed and passed out in my bed. Here is where things get weird and the front desk saves me. So next thing I know, I'm reali I realize I am running. My brain starts functioning a little more and I realize I am running down a hallway, down the hallway in my hotel, completely naked. I come out of my weird brain fog stupor, stop running and immediately start panicking. Any trace of alcohol is completely burned up in the face of the horrific panic. Here I am, a young 20-something young woman, sans key card, standing in the middle to higher rate to a, in a higher range hotel hallway in the middle of the night, completely and totally naked. Why am I outside my room? Why am I naked? What did I do? I considered knocking on some random door and having them call the front desk to open my door for me, but quickly discarded the idea because what if one of my coworkers slash bosses happened to answer the door? We were all staying we were all staying at the hotel, about 20 of us. Too embarrassing. <laughs> As I am contemplating my options and gritting my literal loins over having to take a naked ride down the elevator to the lobby, I walked to the elevator bank and was tem temporarily saved by a courtesy phone sitting on a little table across from the elevator. I snatched up and dialed the front desk. Front desk. How may I be of assistance? Me. Highly pitched panicky voice. Um, hi, I locked myself out of my room. Insert room key number. I can't remember anymore. Could someone come and let me in? Front desk. If you would like to come down, I would be happy to rekey a card for you, says the way too chipper for the middle of the night man on the phone. Me, I can't. I'm naked. Please hurry. Front desk. Pauses. One moment, ma'am. Someone, <laughs> <laughs> someone will be up to assist you. Oh, sis. Could you imagine being in, in like a lift though, like going down? They almost always have mirrors, like yeah. looking at yourself, like just naked. This like, has never happened before. Like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I hang up and run back to my door, trying to cover all my important bits with my hands, praying no one else comes down the hall or opens their door and sees me and wait. Five minutes later, one of the front desk guys turns the corner and stumbles, stumbles, stops in a misstep. He gives me a what the hell exclamation and just stares for a second while I feel my entire body turning so red with embarrassment that I could legit pass an entire overripe tomato as an overripe tomato. Once his brain... <laughs> Pass. Pass. Like oh, yeah. shit, shit. Yeah. Out. She sh she I was like, out. That was a great turn of phrase. Like, I'm going to use that. <laughs> I just shit out of overripe tomato. 
<laughs> you know, something's <laughs> fucking up when you tell the story. It's good. <laughs> so, so <laughs> Once his brain started up again, he was very concerned, asking me if I was okay. Did I need help? Was there someone he should call? I don't know how often you all run into naked guests, but the fact that he was concerned for me and my safety was appreciated, and I am forever grateful for his swift assistance in getting me back into my room. Though at the time, all I could think of was, oh my God, please let me in and then go away so I can die of mortification <laughs> and breath. <laughs> so I can die. <laughs> After he opened the door, he kind of took a peek in the room to make sure everything was okay there, but nothing was out of the ordinary. Once I was in, I whispered slash yelled, I'm good, thanks, slammed the door closed, threw on all my clothes, and checked out online anonymously the next morning. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> what, wow. Was yeah. there any, like, she was just sleepwalking? Yeah, um... I think I think so. It says, FYI, in the morning, I realized I was probably trying to find the bathroom, but in my sleep haze, I opened and went into the in through the wrong door. I was perfectly fine. Nothing bad happened, but I never overindulged again while on the road. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. God. That's the worst Naked thing to, happen, oh to happen to you in the middle of the night. I well, don't know what be, I would do. It's better than it happened during the day because there'd be a lot more people walking around. Yeah, the yeah that's so true. But I've that's never like properly s- like slept walk before. So Me like, too. yeah. I, from when I was a child, burp, I slept walked every time we moved house. We only moved house like three times. I slept walked the first night we slept there every single time. That's so weird. You're a yeah, freak. <laughs> Walk down three flights of yeah. stairs or like two flights better of stairs. Better not have done that when we moved in. <laughs> the first time I did it was when the first house we moved into from a flat into like um, a wee bungalow, and I came out of me and my brother's room, and my dad said he he came and found me peeing this <gasps> this close to the toilet. <laughs> I was like I was like close. I was in the bathroom, but I was just like peeing. a foot away. Yeah. And then the, the other time, my room was in the attic, so I climbed down from my like, little attic hole and then came down. Climbed down another set of stairs and another big set of stairs. And I had no idea how I didn't fall. I didn't remember a single thing. Whoa. That's when we moved into like a wee bit of a bigger house. And I just didn't. I, I can't remember a single thing. But they said, yeah, first night there. I, oh, my God. I slept, walked. I've never, sl- I, don't, I don't think anyway, slept, walked any other time. Yeah, I wouldn't know. It was just when we moved <laughs> I know. I'm I don't think I did. Sleeping. when I'm dead when I fall asleep. When we yeah. moved in our flat, I don't think I did either. No, all this has only kind of slept, walk once. And I've yeah. only, because like my nephew used to sleepwalk and my sister used to say that she would wake up and he was maybe like seven or eight at the time. And he'd be standing on her side of the bed, just staring at her oh, no. while she slept. And she would wake up, get a fright and be like, go to bed, Nigel. Like, <laughs> and he would just walk off to bed like oh, to, go to bed Nigel <laughs> okay <laughs> which my, my nephew is about to get married so congrats oh. well by this time who I've already been married so congratulations to him and his beautiful fiance mm-hmm. but um yeah <laughs> hopefully you're not sleepwalking still <laughs> down the yeah. aisle and then Aldous has done it once and I think he was maybe like six or five I, he was young like mm-hmm. yeah really young and I just remember waking up and hearing him screaming and crying. And I mean, that's kind of normal. Like, you know, kids have nightmares. They didn't have it that often, like no night terrors or anything like that. But I w- like run into his room and they slept in bunk beds. They sleep in bunk beds. Aldous was always at the top. Atticus was at the bottom because bottom, he's little. And Aldous, no joke, is hanging <laughs> from the railing of the top bunk. Going, ah! <laughs> hanging there screaming and crying like that like for his he must have like been sleeping and like thought he was crawling down the ladder and then woke up and he was like (laughs) like fucking Mufasa like (laughs) 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 like no brother help me and then like Atticus is sleeping (laughs) and yeah and I literally just grabbed him and scooped him up and then he was fine and then just put him back to bed but I'll have full conversations with him and he'll yeah. not remember at all. Like, really? I'll come in and be like, oh, does you need your inhaler? Or something like that. Or be like, are you okay? Are you too hot? Like, just checking on them. And he'll be like, like, he looks like so like, huh? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, so just spaced. like, like he could have a conversation with you, but he's actually not there. Like, yeah, it's really bizarre. Mm-hmm.